for staying with us. All right, social media influencer Heather Watson founded the blog Her Kentucky all the way back in 2011. Now, to celebrate the eighth anniversary of the blog's founding, Heather is participating in five fashion based fundraising events benefiting local nonprofits in Lexington and Louisville. She is here to give us all the details. So pleased to have you on the show. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being here, Heather. Thank you so much. All right, before we talk about these fashion shows and these charity events, let's talk about your blog, Her okay. Kentucky. Her Kentucky has been around for eight years on Thursday. It started out as a multi rider blog, and now it is basically just me writing about things of interest for and about modern Kentucky woman. Which there's so much stuff always going oh, on yeah. here in the bluegrass. <laughs> oh yeah. And you know, I try to look at it as everything that a Kentucky woman would be interested in. So you know, we love bourbon, we love basketball, we love football, but we also love politics and news stories. So I don't really limit it to a specific topic. I try to think of it as anything you talk to your friends about. Sure. Mm -hmm. You use social media a lot for your blog. I in, sure do. In what ways has social media impacted your blog? You know, um, my husband says that he hasn't had a hot meal in eight years <laughs> because we have to take pictures of the food first. Um, but it really is great to reinforce my interests and my readers' interests and see that immediate feedback sure. on social media. So if I am at a football game, I know that my readers are 80% UK fans. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not like they're going to organically say, hey, what's Heather doing in U of L colors? Right. Not that you ever would. Um, but also, it's interesting to see. I do a lot of bourbon tastings. I actually am in the process of writing a book about bourbon. Wow. Um, and it's interesting to see immediately what my readers, what their feedback about sure. particular brands, particular tastes. And then that reinforces, it helps me find more opportunities to do more events with brands. Well, and it also gives you the opportunity to do what you're doing. With exactly. Charity. What are you doing over these next two weeks? Over the next two weeks, I am doing five charitable initiatives in 10 days to help raise money for four charities. Um, I'm working in Lexington and in Louisville. I am kicking it off on Wednesday here in Lexington at Draper James at the Summit at Fritz Farm. And we'll be doing um, a 15% give back for Dress for Success Lexington. Um, anything you buy in those two hours, either in store or via phone, 15% will go back to Dress for Success. And actually, last fiscal year, we actually raised an entire month's rent for Dress for Success nice. Lexington with Draper James. And it's such a great, great organization. So great, so great. I'll also be ending the initiative back here in Lexington on Friday the 20th with Dress for Success doing their Recycle the Runway event. So Which I'm going to- a lot of fun. It's so much fun. I'm going to be one of the judges this year. I could mm. not be more excited. Um, also in Louisville, I'll be doing three initiatives um, on Thursday the 12th. I'll be at Oxmoor Center and we are doing an initiative. It's a happy hour benefiting Twisted Pink, which is a metastatic breast cancer research mm -hmm. foundation. Um, so that is six to eight at the Oxmoor Center. I'm also doing an online initiative for Onshaw Project, which is a Louisville-based textile company that retrains Indian artisans from sexual slavery to become artisans that make these Which amazing quilts. Oh, so Heather, you have so much going on. I do. We want to get involved. Can we find this all on your all on HerKentucky.com, HerKentucky on Instagram or Facebook. There you go. All kinds of platforms. Thank you so much for Thank all your you. giving. Congratulations on eight years. Thank you. Thank Check you. it out. Thank you so much for watching, Adam. Thanks for being Ain't here. No problem. See you tomorrow. Have a great kickoff to your week. We'll see you again tomorrow.